Hey, how you doing? It's so nice to see you. I'm so glad you could join me today on YouTube. My name is Deshawn and you're watching Distinctively Deshawn. Today is a special video and I invite you to come along. So welcome to my home. Welcome to my home. Guys, today's video is super special because it involves one of my many grandbabies, okay? Number 13 to be exact. God is good. Now, I did some centerpieces for the baby shower this weekend, which were adorable. I love them, okay? They came out so great. I had a little situation with my phone, so sorry. Um, but what I was saying was they came out super great. And, like, I just enjoyed doing it. Like, I just enjoyed the project from start to finish. It was actually my first time um, doing these type of centerpieces so i was actually proud of myself too that i was able to execute the vision that i had in my head and i will be doing um much more you know many more things like that anyway the color scheme was silver and white and the theme was winter winter win, winter winter <laughs> winter wonderland um and at first i was like mm -hmm. You know, silver and white, that's kind of like basic. Or is the pop of color? Like, I was, I didn't really know how um, that was going to come across. But it actually ended up being so, so beautiful. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me back up. If you're new here, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do content on home decor. DIY projects, cleaning motivations, inspiration sometimes, you know, poetry, um, the word of God because I love the Lord, whatever, you know, when I say the word of God, I just mean like encouraging words and things like that, just depending on um, what direction I'm led in. So if you are interested in that, please do consider subscribing to the family. We would love to have you join us. Um, so back to what I was saying, I didn't upload a video in a few weeks too. This is probably my second one. So I did want to hop on here and kind of just touch base with you guys. I hope you all miss me because I definitely missed you all. Um, I just been really, really busy just having a lot going on. And so my daughter was actually the one who recorded this project because I probably wouldn't have even gotten content for this either either and shout out to imani my youngest daughter for helping me to get this thing together so i hope you all enjoy what you see All right, first up was measuring these pearl beads that I purchased from Amazon. I used one and a half teaspoons per 32 ounces of water. Um, they look like little crystals that expand into water gels the longer they sit in the water. I thought it was really neat and really fun to work with. As you can see, they're so tiny, and then this is what they start to look like as they grow. Now that they have expanded to full capacity, I'm just using this strainer here to drain out the excess water. And as you can see, a little goes a long way. I was fascinated, y'all. I was planning like a little child, but I am ready to use them in my centerpieces. 
I'm adding this silver metallic ribbon to the vase just to give it a decorative element to the outside so it doesn't look so plain. Both of these items were purchased at the Dollar Tree. Now we are having a little girl, so I wanted I wanted it to be like dainty, you know. So I'm tying this little bow and I'm gonna put some little twists at the bottom of it just to make it stand out some. This part of the process, I did play around with it a little bit just because I wanted the bow to be secure when I needed to move it or transport it to my destination. Plus, I wanted it to sit a certain type of way. I'm adding this silver mesh. Um, it has little glitter on it, silver glitter that I also purchased from the Dollar Tree. At this point, Dollar Tree just needs to go in and cut me a check because I am constantly promoting them like nobody's business. But we are having a little girl, so I wanted this to be as dainty as possible. I decided to go ahead and tie another bow on it to create a balance between the kind of harshness of the metallic silver, but I needed that to make it pop. And this is adding like, um, a softer element to the bowls and just making it stand out a little more I'm also adding this pearl bead to the outside of the vase to elevate it just to take it up another notch Now I am placing a few of the pearl beads inside the vase so that they can float inside once I add the water gels and the water. I'm just taping them to the outside of my vase to make um, filling it a little bit easier where I don't have to worry about them falling inside or outside of the vase just until I get enough uh, water gels in there to secure it on its own. You can add as little or as much of the pearl beads as you prefer. Several do come in the pack and they are bundled in groups of seven. For mine, um, this particular one, I think I added three to the inside and one to the outside. But I do have some where I added um, five on the inside and I let some of them hang on the outside. I'm adding these submersible LED lights that I purchased from Amazon. You just twist the top off and take the white paper off the top of the battery. You put the top back on it and then you twist it to the right as far as possible until the light cuts on. And they last up to 60 hours, guys, I believe. Now, I can vouch for the fact that they lasted for me at least 32 hours. So that's really, really good um, battery life. Now, don't laugh at my little invention, okay? Because the circumference of the vase is very small. It's like two inches, two and a half inches. I had to get crafty with getting the light on the inside so I can get it in the center. So that is a kitchen fork, yes, with some blue painters tape at the bottom to stick it inside the jar. Might be ghetto, but it works, okay? Now to the gel beads and the decor. I am using silver and clear barrettes and beads for my little girl, my little grand blessing. Now, you want to add a little bit of the decorations in the bottom, maybe two or three pieces and then some gel beads and then decorations and gel beads and do it like that, like layering it like you're making lasagna. Thank you. 
As you can see, I closed some of the barrettes, but I'm also leaving some of them open. And you know what? Those LED lights at the bottom, I think, are so playful and they are so fitting and appropriate for a baby shower. Now, those gel beads are several batches um, that I made. So I think I probably used two bags all in all for this project to make 23 um, vases of this size. I think this might be um, a 10 inch tall vase. I will say you definitely want to use some type of funnel or um, measuring cup when doing this kind of a project because as those gel beads will get everywhere if you don't contain them. Once the water is added, you can visually see the decor that's on the inside and you may have to make a few minor adjustments to suit your liking. Um, that's what I had to do, as you can see. But make sure you use something like a long um, popsicle stick or wooden stick or something, a wooden ruler, something that is not what I'm using, okay? Because I had to be extremely careful as not to puncture the water gels as I was moving it around, but I didn't have anything else to use. I wanted to leave some of the water gels exposed at the top just because our theme is baby is cold outside for like an ice effect, but you can fill the vase all the way up to the top um, for a more transparent look with the water. I decided to make some snow to go around my centerpieces, so I purchased this Let It Snow from Amazon. It's, it looks like sugar in a package. You just empty it out into a bowl, and you add water, and it expands, and it really, really looks like snow, guys. I've never used this before either, but I was very, very pleased with the product, and it actually was like cold, <laughs> like snow too. This lasts for a good while as well. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many days or so it lasts or hours, but it lasts a long time. I think I had it sitting overnight and it was still like I just did it. So if you're looking, you know, to make snow ever for decor, let it snow is a really good um, purchase. Well, guys, we've come to the conclusion of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed hanging out with me. I had a blast. It was a lot to do, but it was well worth the work for my little grand blessing that is on the way. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Until next time, ciao.